Hey guys, what's up? So as you guys might know, my hair is lighter. I did put my highlights back into it. My hair is naturally pretty light, but I dyed it for like the second time ever in September of last year, so it got pretty dark even when the color washed out. After several months, it was still pretty dark, so I did get my highlights put back in it the other day, and I love it. I missed having light hair and I just thought it was time for a change. I'm really happy about it, so if you're wondering why my hair looks a little lighter, it's because it is. <laughs> so anyway, today I'm going to be doing my mid-September wrap-up. I did not plan on reading a lot this month, but I've actually been reading more than I thought. I'm just going to show you guys the books that I have read in the first half of the month and tell you a little bit about them as per usual, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the books. The first book that I read this month was The Friend Zone by Kristen Callahan. This is the second book in the Game On trilogy currently. It might be an ongoing series, but currently the third book is set to be released this fall, but there's no cover or anything like that. So I read the first book last month, and this follows the best friend of the main guy from the first book, and his name is Gray Grayson, and we love Gray Grayson. He is just... Mm, he's such a peach. I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. I liked it better than the first one. This one caused me a lot less anxiety than the first one, but I was just as happy reading it and when I finished it as I was with the first one. I thought Grey Grayson was such a complex character. I love how much we see him grow throughout the story, and he's so, so, so sweet, and you see a side of him that not everybody else gets to see. This is about Grey, obviously, as I said, and the daughter of his football agent, and her name is Ivy. And Grey has been tasked to take care of her car while she is away in England. And so since he has lent his friend his car for the time being, he has to drive her car around, which is this little bubblegum pink car that he barely fits in because he's huge. Ivy and Grey start texting while she is away and they become best friends. They have kind of friend zoned each other because they're afraid of losing each other as friends knowing the reputations and stuff but they are obviously undeniably attracted to each other, so it's just a cute little friends to lovers story, and I really enjoyed this, and I would highly recommend this series, especially if you're looking for a sports-type novel. This series is about football players, so it just had a lot of depth to it that you wouldn't really expect from a sports story, so I really enjoyed it, and I would highly recommend this book and this series. If you don't like the first book, I would highly recommend that you read this one because the first book did cause me a lot of anxiety, so this one is a really good one. Holy balls. I am sweating like just a hooker in church. Okay. The next book that I have here to show you is Alex by Sawyer Bennett. This is actually a book that I heard nothing about. I've read plenty of the reviews on Goodreads, but I had heard about this from no one. This was just a random recommendation that Goodreads gave me because I had read quite a few sports themed new adult romance books. So I added this randomly to my want to read list and I was kind of trying to figure out another book to read. I wanted to read another sports themed book but I wanted to try something besides football and I remembered this from the synopsis. It is about a guy that is a professional hockey player and Part of the thing that intrigued me about this book in the summary on Goodreads was the fact that he's just the biggest asshole. He is named MVP of every game, most valuable prick, and he is just really mean. He's not the asshole that, you know, sleeps around, which he does do that a little bit, but he's not that asshole. He's a different kind of asshole. He has a lot of baggage, a lot of stuff that happened to him in his life, and that has made him mean. He is just a mean guy. And I was like, huh. A new adult romance book where the hero is really just a mean guy? I wonder how that's gonna work out. So I randomly just grabbed it on my Kindle and I read it and I loved this book. I gave it 4.75 stars. The character development is really, really big. It takes a really long time to pull him out of his kind of old ways and this isn't one of those where it resolves halfway through and then there's a big hoopla that causes a problem then everything is resolved at the end. No, this isn't one of those stories. This story is one of those where the entire book you are just waiting on the edge of your seat, biting your nails, waiting for the other shoe to drop. I thought it was so sweet and so meaningful. There were a lot of other really meaningful plots to the story. Sutton, the female lead, is a 
social worker and so she deals a lot with kids whose parents have drug addictions and it's just a really sweet story and I really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend this one because it's not one that a lot of people have talked about especially if you like hockey this one's just really fun and also really dark and there's a lot of really sweet moments that you wouldn't expect from a guy like Alex. Did I even tell you his name was Alex? The book's called Alex so I think maybe that's why. Anyway, <laughs> the next book that I read this month was Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the final book in the Infernal Devices trilogy, which is the prequel series to The Mortal Instruments. I loved this series. I made a video a little while back saying that I wasn't sure which was my favorite yet because I'd only read the first book of this series, but now I can confidently say that this is definitely my preferred series, unless the last two books of The Mortal Instruments completely blow me away, which is very quite possible. This I gave 5 out of 5 stars, and you will see me talk about this in quite a few, quite a few videos, but I do have a spoiler discussion of this coming whenever I get the chance to edit it. I have quite a few videos that I still need to edit and post from this past week. This was just so amazing. I was so pleased with how it wrapped up. I enjoyed the ending. I enjoyed the book. This is quite a thick book, and I got through this in technically three calendar days, but as far as hours, it was probably more around two days. But I just, I loved this book. It was completely action-packed. There was not a dull moment. All the storylines were just wrapped together, and the way it all came together was just so perfect, and I really enjoyed it. highly recommend this series. If you didn't enjoy The Mortal Instruments, I would still recommend you try this. If you felt like the first book, Clockwork Angel, was a little slow, definitely move on to Clockwork Prince. I would highly recommend this series, and definitely check it out. I cannot wait for The Last Hours, which is the trilogy that will come after this one, still before The Mortal Instruments, but after this. So I'm really excited for that. That's the one that I'm most excited about, except it's not going to be published for quite a while. I would have gone right on to the next Shadowhunters book because my book hangover was begging for it, but after this book I just needed something light, so <sighs> this book, it caused me such an immense book hangover, I can't even tell you. Guys, I'm sweating so bad because we finally have our windows open now and just I can feel my hair curling again after I straightened it because I'm just so hot. <laughs> so far we have three really highly rated books for this wrap up and it's not gonna change, guys. It's not going to change. The next book that I read was Calmly, Carefully, and Completely by Tammy Faulkner. This is the third book in the Reed Brothers series that I love so much. I rated this five out of five stars. I have a feeling that this series is gonna be one of those that I rate every single book five stars, just like Black Dagger Brotherhood, because I just love the family and the characters and the aspect of the story in general so much that I just know that that's how it's gonna go. I picked up this book because I needed something light after Clockwork Princess and this was the perfect way to go because I love this series and I love these brothers so much. It was so great to get back and see them again. This story follows Pete, which is the youngest brother, and I can't really tell you what his story entails because that would spoil events from the second book but it follows him and his love interest, Reagan. I can tell you a little bit about Reagan because that won't spoil the other books, but Reagan has been sexually assaulted, and the night that she's sexually assaulted, Pete kind of comes across her right after it happens, and he kind of saves her. Not in that he prevents it from happening, but he takes care of her afterwards, and so he's really left a mark on her heart, and this book takes place two years after that. And they meet up again, and... It's their kind of, do you remember me, I remember you kind of thing, and they fall in love, and it's just so sweet and so touching, and I'm really glad that I read this book because if you have seen my review for the first two books in the series, the fourth book, which is maybe Matt's Miracle, I was really excited about because Matt is one of my favorite brothers, and I wanted it to be the next one, but I'm so glad this was the next one because it made me love Pete even more, and now I'm wondering if Matt will end up being my favorite brother besides Logan in the first books because I just love Pete so much now. This, this book really gives you a different perspective on Pete, and if you didn't really care about him before, you'll love him after this book, so I highly recommend that you check out this series and this book and just so good, guys. I love this series. The next book that I read was Pure by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the second book in the Covenant series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and I really enjoyed the first book, which I think I rated four stars. This one was no exception. I loved this one. I rated it 4.5 stars. There are several aspects in the plot of this book that do match up with Vampire Academy. I won't tell you which ones, but I really enjoyed this book. I love this series, and after this book, I decided I was going to buy the whole series, and if you haven't seen my unboxing of these books yet, then it's coming soon, I promise. I couldn't put it down. It took me the same amount of time to read this one that it took me to read Clockwork 
princess but I still really enjoyed it. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was while I was reading it on my iPad, but I love Alex and Aiden. They're so cute. No surprise because I love Rose and Dimitri, but check it out if you love Vampire Academy and you're looking for something similar. I'm somebody who doesn't think it's a ripoff of Vampire Academy because it's different enough, but similar enough to where I love it just like I loved Vampire Academy, but definitely check it out. And then immediately after that, I went into Deity, which is the third book in the same series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I love this one. I haven't decided if I want to give it five stars or 4.75 yet. I'm leaning towards five, but I'm not quite sure yet. This is the third book in the series, and I was just obsessed with this one. I read it so fast. I read it in two days. Again, more Alex and Aiden. I love them. This was just... It's no surprise that I love this book so much because I loved Shadow Kiss so much, which is the third book in the Vampire Academy series. Because of this book, I am now currently slumping because I didn't want to continue reading the series until I got them all in the mail. So I've been trying to read An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, which it's not like I'm not interested in it. I am. I am really interested in the world and I want to get into the book, but for some reason it's been three days and I'm still stuck on page 30 something. So this this book has made me slump pretty bad, but now that I have the next few, I can go on to the rest of this series and hopefully get out of this weird slump that I'm in, but so good. I wasn't planning on reading either of these this month, but I did, and now I'm planning on finishing the series this month, so I highly recommend this series if you like Vampire Academy. I really enjoyed it, so yeah. So basically, I only had like six books to talk about, and this video is almost 20 minutes long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you have read so far this month that you loved or that you didn't love, and I will talk to you all very soon with another video. Bye, everyone. I'm like sweating so bad. That's enough. Holy God. Do you guys like my shirt? It's got little eyeballs on it. I love my blonde hair. It's not even like all 100% blonde, but I love it. I'm super happy with it. My hairdresser is such a goddess. <laughs> I love her. I've been going to her since I was a kid.